Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video. Maybe it's not the best morning for most of people waking up, seeing Bitcoin below 20k again. Uh, but let's try to look at what is happening and why it happened and what is the next level of support. But also uh, three, four amazing charts that uh, is showing you that Bitcoin is also breaking records at the same day. Really strange, but let's quickly jump into those uh, charts to show you um, whatever is happening. Guys, um, all the information about the family you will find on the bitcoinfamily.com. There, that, that, there, that, bam, that, the bitcoinfamily.com. Um, you will find everything about our tokens, you will find everything about our products, you will uh, indicators, all that stuff. Okay, go ahead, I guess you can see the difference. All that stuff, the bitcoinfamily.com. Now, let's quickly jump into the charts that I want to share with you today. Uh, the first one is going to to bam this one the four hour chart um, you might ask why always the four hour chart it's just i love the four hour chart i it, i love to trade it because i don't need to attend the screen 24 7 to be trading the four hour chart or the day chart and that's why i like it now the four hour chart we can see that uh, you know in the last video i said uh, we have the resistance and the support and if we break the support bam the next level of support is all the way down here and uh, why all the way down here I will zoom out so you understand why all the way down there, but that would be the next level of support. Now, the Bam Bam indicator, yes, shorted over there. The candle closed down below the yellow stepping line over there. The blue line went down below the white line and the white line went downwards. And there was a shitload of blue and a red dot. It's a quadruple confirmation of that short to take. If you would have taken the short at the moment, you would be in a 10% profit without leverage. That's a beautiful trade. If I zoom out, I'm also going to show you how you can um, see that there will be a reversal. Now, that uh, support area that came, of course, if we zoom out a little bit more from that area here before, look how often the candles came into that box. Here, here, there's a lot of volume over there. You can also see in the volume that should be the area of support. And that is above the previous uh, low, the bear market low over there, 50,600. So that would be a higher low. But I will zoom out later to show you even more. Now, um, to give you an indication how low are we at the moment, if we look at these lines over here in the Bam Bam indicator, then we can see that the white line is over there now. Now, look to the left to see how often we were at that level. How often did we go that low in the Bam Bam indicator with that white line? That doesn't happen often, guys. You can go uh, way back to the left, but this is, the white line is always far above that red line. It only happens a few times. Here, there, over here. There it happened, there it happened, there it happened. But all those times that it happened, what happened after? It is the moment that the white line returns around, goes up again. And that is also, if you look to the price, at the moment, the price will go up again. So for me, that is a beautiful indication. We are really low. That white line is going to come up again. And that will turn into a long signal on the Bam Bam indicator. And that would be a beautiful long to take, again, of like maybe to that box, around 10%. That's how you trade uh, on a four-hour chart. Now, if we zoom out a little bit on the one-day chart, we can see that that 50-day moving average starts to bend downwards again. We must not have that one crossing that red line again because that would be a death cross. We just had a golden cross. We did find support again on that dotted white line, that trend line that comes all the way from the top of the previous bull run, all-time high. Look, if we zoom out a little bit, I can show you. That line, that was the line that we need to break. We broke it and we retested it, we went up, and we are retesting that line again. Um, am, we, am I freaking out now? No, because we should be keeping support on this huge volume. And if not, we could fall a little bit down to the red line over there, which is the 200 day moving average, and that one is now around 19,700. So not freaking out, I see that we are creating a higher low. And that higher low, you can see on this weekly. Look, bottom, high higher low we were playing around with the level where would that higher low be would it be there or would it be here or is it even going to be that purple line that's what we played around with in the last couple of videos now probably that higher low is going to be around this level here and then we will create another higher high somewhere around that 30k level again and then we come back again for a higher low and there will be 22k 25k we don't know 
but that is how the market normally moves now if you want to trade all of it then please use the links down below the video or to bybit bybit has 30 dollars for just signing up up to 30,000 US dollars, depending on how much Bitcoins you deposit. And they have a beautiful um, campaigns at the moment that you can get some extra bonuses for just doing a couple of tasks. So check out Bible.com by clicking the link down below. Now, let's jump into this charts that I also want to share with you um, because Bitcoin is also making new um, records. And that's beautiful to see as well um, in these bearish times, you might say. In my opinion, the bear market is over. We are in a bull bullish more market and we are creating highs and higher lows. So for me, everything is still okay. Like Bob Marley says, every little thing is gonna be all right. Don't worry about a thing, just buy Bitcoin. Now, um, let's quickly jump into those charts over here. This is the first one. On this one, um, we can see that Bitcoin just filled that CME gap. Over here was a gap. And that CME gap is now being filled. So yes, I find support over here, in my opinion, and maybe some sideways movement and then see what happens over there. The weekend can be volatile again, it's Friday. So let's see what happens um, this weekend. Now, if we look at this chart, we can see that Bitcoin just made a new record. And that new record, I'm gonna put my face a little bit higher, um, is a Bitcoin number of addresses, non-zero addresses. So how many Bitcoin addresses are there in the world that have uh, more than zero bitcoins that's like what the chart is telling you and we can see that is a shitload of addresses i think in total it's now 44.5 million addresses that hold bitcoin 44.5 million addresses we have never seen so many bitcoin addresses um, that are non-zero now if we zoom out again so that's a new all-time high over there bam we have another all-time high we have an all-time high here in the Bitcoin that have not moved for longer than two years. So BTC, person supply, last active two years, two plus years. New all-time high. It's around 52, 53% of the Bitcoin haven't moved for longer than two years. New all-time high. Very positive in my opinion. Bam! Next one, new all-time high. The Bitcoin amount of supply last active more than 10 years. More than 10 years ago, these Bitcoins were active. That is in total now 2.5 million Bitcoins that haven't been active since 10 years plus. So those 2.5 million Bitcoins have been not active for more than 10 years. And that one is going up as well. That means big whales are hodling. They are hodling Bitcoin. They are not moving it around. They are not touching it. It stays in the wallet. And it's now in total two and a half million Bitcoins. In my opinion, very positive. Do we have other charts? Yes, I have this beautiful chart over here. I found this one on Twitter. Um, also really cool chart. Um, this one um, is talking about May because it's already March, April, May. And this one says, yes, yeah, sell in May and go away, theory. So this one, you just need to pause the video and check all uh, the information on the chart, but the, all the dotted lines is the 1st of May. So this, the 1st of May, yeah, you shouldn't have gone away. You should have uh, stayed in and had a shitload of profit. Here, the 1st of May 2011, yes, that was a big uh, drop over there of a 90, what is it, 93%? Yeah. Then again, the next May, no, was profit. The next May, then again, was a loss. Then again, made a May and profit and again and then loss and one more in profit and another one in profit and another may in profit and then a may in loss and so it's like divided but every time around me there is a big move that is the chart that's what i wanted to show you with this chart so it's beautiful to see on the monthly chart um, that may indeed is a, a month that people are or pushing Bitcoin or moving out of Bitcoin. Beautiful chart as well. Now, um, then I have one more chart over here. This one, very important chart. Because this is the first time that there is a, a depression warning, in my opinion. And why is this a depression warning? I'm gonna put here my face between everything. Because you can see where we are right now at the moment, over there, minus 2%. You can see where we are now, here, over minus 2%. There was only four times in history that we were at these levels. Here, that was the 1870s depression. Here, the panic of, 19, of 1893. Here, 
it was the 21 the 1921 um, depression and over here it was the great depression minus 12. so we can see that we are very low at the moment so this means the money supply is not a growing but is decreasing the thing that is worrying me and probably many people is that every time when we see these low numbers the unemployment doubles so the amount of unemployment that we already see now is going to double the moment we get this low and that is what everyone is talking about now there's going to be a huge crisis people are going to be unemployed not have money not have savings already have a shitload of debt and nobody knows how they are going to solve this are they going to solve it by printing more money creating more inflation that is the question that everyone has at the moment for that reason guys i'm at the moment in bitcoin I believe that Bitcoin is my store of value. I believe that whatever happens to the world, how big the depression and the crisis will be, that in Bitcoin, I will perform best. I don't think if I stay in dollar or euro that I will survive that crisis in a beautiful way because everything is getting so expensive that those dollars and euros I hold don't buy me shit. In Bitcoin, it's also moving a little bit. And yes, sometimes a little bit more, but still, in the long term, when you zoom out, I can see Bitcoin only going up. And we can see that the system, the financial traditional system, is cracking. Because we also see the SVB bank, and there is another bank in America. They are all filing almost like bankruptcy, or like their stocks are dropping with 67%. So you might say, yeah, but my money is safe at the banks. Is it that safe at the banks? Do you see what is happening with SVB? Do you see that their stock crashed with 60%? Do you think that people will not withdraw their cash from that bank to play it safe as well? It's all the same. But for me, Bitcoin is a store of value that slowly goes up and slowly increases in value. So that's why I'm in Bitcoin. That's why I make these videos to educate you about Bitcoin, because you could do the same. Put a part of your capital in Bitcoin, because that will protect you from all the inflation and all the shit show that is happening all over the world. Now, I hope you really enjoyed this uh, short TA video. If you did enjoy it, then give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment, and let me know what you think about the depression, the charts, and everything else. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow again. Bam!